the Florida farmlands, home to South African-born Kayla van der Walt. Her equestrian journey began at the age of three Come on, boy. when she first sat on a pony. Now 21 years old, she's a celebrated Paralympian, dedicated to dressage. But it hasn't always been an easy ride. And in 2016, when she faced the fight of her life, overcoming cancer, it was her horses that she turned to. I was still living in South Africa when I was diagnosed um, with Ewing sarcoma. Um, it kind of came out of the blue. One night I was um, woke up in the middle of the night and my arm was in excruciating pain and it just wasn't going away. So we went to the emergency room and that's when the doctor, well, didn't really like, find a lump in my arm. It was just like hard to the touch. Ultimately, I'd have to have surgery to get whatever it was taken out. So I went in for the surgery and that's when they did a biopsy on it that came back as it being uh, malignant. At the time that um, the doctor told me like exactly what it was, it was a slight shock, but I kind of like processed it and was, my point of view was, okay, there's nothing I could have done to really stop it from happening. So like, what do I have to do to kind of, you know, get over it and, you know, kind of fight it. When I um, moved to the U.S. after I was diagnosed, um, I had to leave my horse in South Africa, so I didn't really have a horse at the time when I first came. But then a family friend actually bought Benji for me, the chestnut. Um, and so then, you know, I could use him as like kind of like my little therapy at that point. I think because I've pretty much been riding my entire life, horses was just my normal. So when my whole life was kind of, you know, flipped upside down and everything changed so drastically with the horses being there, it kind of took me back to what normal really should be. <laughs> this is Benji. I've had him probably for the last, I want to say, five years. He's kind of been my therapy horse from the beginning, in a way. <laughs> um, I'd say he's probably, he's very, he's a big gentle giant, as is his giant goofball. His personality's really shown through through the years, because in the beginning, he was very much like an anxious horse. We had to work through a lot of things with him, but I've put him through a lot of situations now, so he's kind of gotten used to me putting him in like, you know, all these crazy situations, so he's chilled out, become, you know, very trustworthy of me and all that kind of thing. <laughs> right after treatment, um, there was obviously a lot that I had to change because one, I was just super weak um, in general from the chemotherapy and also the tumor only left me with limited use of my left arm, so like I was very out of balance when I started riding because I would compensate so much for my left side. I had a couple equipment that I had to adapt, so for my reins and stuff, I couldn't use two reins in one hand, so I had to join the two reins into one. But other than that, it was mostly just building up my strength again and get back into it, work out what I can and can't do anymore. I definitely think Benji could sense what I was going through, because from the first time I met him, he was always, he was one very gentle, and he was, he'd follow me around all the time, and it was almost like he was trying to be super careful with me because he knew I wasn't like strong and stuff like that. So even while riding, he was taking great care of me. While it was Benji who'd seen her through her recovery, with treatment behind her, Kayla had her sights set on the Paralympics. And for that, she needed a horse used to the bigger stage. Enter the Turo, an experienced gray gelding to help her through her next test. In the beginning, it was a little challenging for both of us because he was then having to get used to me and I had to get used to, you know, riding this horse that had all these different buttons that I didn't know how to use yet. So I always say it's like, you know, getting a sports car and not knowing what all the buttons do, but I was able to figure it out and he was able to figure me out and we kind of, from there, been able to develop a lot deeper connection with each other. He's been a saint ever since. He's really helped me out a lot, um, really took care of me and really helped me get where I wanted to be. Months of hard work saw the pair realize their dreams. And in November 2021, they competed alongside the world's greatest in the Paralympic Games. A podium finish may have been beyond their reach, and Atura has sadly since had to remain quarantined in Belgium. But that hasn't stopped Kayla relishing in their achievements. I was very proud of myself and able to get it, especially at such a young age. That was definitely the biggest thing that I've ever tried for in my riding career, so that for sure is definitely the biggest success. Good boy. Currently, I'm actually looking for a new horse since Totoro is only 15 or 16, so I wouldn't be able to do much more with him. 
because I'm getting like a young horse, probably about five years old, um, I would use those three years to try. And since for para dressage, it's kind of like equivalent to, I'd say like third or fourth level in normal dressage. So it's not quite as like the high level as what I would like be expected, you know, at the Olympics with Grand Prix and stuff. Good boy. My take on what I'm really looking for in a horse, they have to have very good movement to start off with. But a big thing for me is like temperament because it's such a big atmosphere showing you know, in the big international rings and stuff like that. They've got to be level-headed, you know, know how to, like, kind of also be very forgiving as well for my para dressage. Um, you know, like if I make little mistakes, you know, because of my left arm and stuff, they need to be forgiving and be able to, you know, be able to handle that kind of thing. When I see the horse, if there's like an initial click between us, um, like, you know, if there's that little like spark and then, you know, from the first ride, how we like adapt to each other in the ride, I think I could definitely, see from there Good boy. <laughs> so the long-term goal is definitely you know if i get this young horse my biggest thing is just being able to work together for quite a few um few of the games and then it'll be like to me it's then a big achievement where i can show that i've taken this horse you know from the beginning been able to go like all the way to the top with it my feelings haven't changed since you know the first time i like met a horse i always you know so it's like a little like giddy feeling, you know, when you see horses like everywhere since I was like a little kid. But obviously, you know, now that I'm like, it's like a professional thing for me, but I enjoy just, you know, being around my horses. They're like my family.